Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be filming a plan with me for the month view in this Amplify planner. So you know that adult saying that basically life is like you saying things will slow down after this week and you say that every week forever and ever. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. So. so we are going to be filling out the month of June in this Amplify quarterly planner. So I did go ahead and kind of prep for the plan with me. To save time, I went ahead and put the date dots down and I kind of filled in the stickers for the things that I am gonna need um, for sure. But we are using a Moxie Life kit from Planner Kate. This was the monthly kit. I've been sticker testing for Planner Kate and a bunch of different planners, so I don't even know where the actual headers for, the, with, for this kit went. Um, but because of the spacing, on the Amplify and the fact that you have Sunday through Tuesday on the left and Wednesday through Saturday on the right. Um, I had wanted to use this wide washi anyway. So date dots are down. Again, this is the Moxie Life 7x9 kit that I'm using. Um, it's kit 426 and then I have some other add-ons that I'll show you as well. So this is a new to me planner. I've been in it for about a month now, but I did wanna show you the past couple of months um, because I've been playing around with the Planner Kate stickers in the monthly kits. On this one, I sliced off Wednesday and put it over here and tried to use the headers. For May, I decided that I would actually utilize these top two sections in the planner and just use some thin washi. Um, and then I realized for June, I could get some things to fit a little bit better. So I'm gonna start with this wide washi and I'm actually going to cover up this top section. And I really like these sections. They remind me, well, for me anyway, I use the dashboard page on the Erin Condren planner. I'm kind of used to having, oh, darn it. I forgot that comes over farther than this. That's okay. We'll fix that. Um, I'm used to having that dashboard page in my um, Aaron Condren to list out my monthly tasks like I did here for May. Um, but I'm going to show you something. I think on this one I decided I would go all the way over. This planner does have monthly, weekly, and daily pages in it. And because of that, they also give you a dot grid page before each of your daily starts on Monday. So let me show you real quick. So we have our week view and then we have another dot grid. So I'm actually going to be using one of these dot grid pages as like my monthly dashboard, which um, I might be able to show you that too. Okay. so wide washi, date headers are down, and then let me see what else I was going to do. Oh, we will put in the holidays. I like this sheet S1820 from Planner Kate. S1819 is the same sheet only for 7x9 planner. So this one's really made for A5. They're 1.2 inches, so they're just a little bit smaller, but I like how they fit these um, monthly boxes. So the 19th is Father's Day and Juneteenth and then summer begins on the 21st. So I wanted to get those in and then I need to mark um, with the washi some of the things that are spanning multiple days. And I'm also going to use, I think, these this washi up here. So I'm going to use this blue thin washi to mark my husband's on-call schedule. He is on call the week of the 18th. And actually, I'm going to put that up here for now. I 
feel like he's always on call for all of the holidays, it seems like. So I'm not surprised it's Father's Day weekend and he's on call. Ooh. Okay, so there's that. And then my mom is on vacation. And I want to mark that as like a placeholder. And I think I'm going to use Oops, I'm making a mess, guys. I'm going to use this one to mark that. She is going to be on vacation here. And I like knowing that because it falls at a time when we're not in school. So if there's something that we want to do together, that's usually the best time to make that happen. So I'm going to go ahead and get those marked down. And then I'm gonna mark some of the summer programs my son will be going to at the library. So on June 2nd, we have the petting zoo. Uh, good thing about Planner Kate is that they are repositionable. I think the next week we have Douglas Hart. And the following week, Rock Springs. And Beyond the Beaten Path on... 23rd. All right, a couple of other things coming up. Planner Kate kits will launch on, I think, this Wednesday for August kits. Power sheets will be coming out. I've heard I want to try those. I've never done the Cultivate What Matters. Um, Actually, you know what? I'm thinking out loud here. I'm gonna put this up here. I don't know exactly when in June. Someone just messaged me and gave me that information that usually the undated version for Cultivate What Matters launches in June. And then um, the third Monday, I will have a sorority meeting. The 10th, we have a sorority social. And then the Bethany celebration is on the 24th. And I think I'm gonna mark that with some more washi. And I just pulled this, um, it's an A5 Daily Duo kit. I thought if I use one of those, since it's spans over multiple days that it might look cute to do that. And then the reason I put this up here instead of down here is because I wanted to use um, these to cover up these days that are not in the month. They're actually July dates, um, but I don't like covering up these because I feel like it's just too much with the washi and then the washi over the days and then more stickers, too much. So that kind of breaks up the page a little bit in my mind. And then we're gonna do the sidebar. This sidebar from the Moxie sheet does not cover all of that. So I thought I would layer it um, with a full box. So let's see how much of this actually covers. I think what we'll do is put this down first, and then this. And then I'm gonna trim off this little piece just because I want a clean edge all the way down the side.
And I am going to mark my birthdays over here, so I'm going to use this KF29B. I think I'll just do a black one. And then we have some more time-specific things. Make sure I'm getting everything here. So on June 8th, we have another little program to go to in a different town. It's kind of that fine balance between finding things to do over summer, but also not having it be overwhelming for my little guy who's not so little anymore. And I do want to cover up those dates and I'm going to use this thin washi again for that. Actually, that's a little too thin. This is the thin add-on washi, add-on six from Planner Kate. However, there is another sheet B from the Weekly Kits has some different size washi on it as well. So I think that we will go with this blue. It should fit just a little bit better. And then I'm going to put on the days of the week with these. These are add-on four. Real life, guys. Real life planning. I started with Monday, and my dates are a Sunday start. Again, Good thing that Planner K is repositionable, because so you can just peel them right up. And place them in the correct spot. Also use this sheet. Um, I'll put the dots over here for birthdays. And then I have just a couple more time to things to put down. We have a wedding on the 4th and I have a doctor's appointment on the 6th. And then I am going to use my Tombow whiteout um, to cover up this little part that didn't get covered by the wide washi and where I trimmed it. So that kind of wraps up this monthly calendar view, but I did want to talk about these pages. So this first week I'm using this for my content planning for the month. And then the second week I wanted to put the Planner Kate challenges down. So I went ahead and printed out the Planner Kate challenge and I'm just going to glue that down. I'm using the Tom Bow um, permanent adhesive. center that maybe and I'll have that to look at and then I am using one of the pages for my Coco Daisy and then I'm designating one of these um, towards the back for just my June dashboard um, like I would have had in my Erin Condren um, 
I forgot that I was going to do that or else I would have made my first notes page um, that way. But we are going to use this June 128. It's made for the 7x9 Erin Condren planner. And I'm just going to set this up as my month instead. And I've never done this before, so kind of playing around with sticker placement. And I actually think I want to make that into kind of a memory box. So I'm going to use my ink pen here and a ruler and make my own little section. I use an app called print to size so I can print out a picture of my son for a memory at the end of the month and it doesn't really need to be um, size specific because that app will print to whatever size I need it to. I don't know how bullet journalers do, do things like this. I am not the greatest at making dash lines, straight lines, any of that. Hopefully it'll look okay. So I have that June memory box down and I think I'll actually mark it with the memory sticker. And then we'll make another, how do we want to do this? Make another one. That'd be cute. And since I covered up the tracker on my month view, I'm going to layer the tracker on this bottom box. That's what it's made for. Or you can leave it open. So now I have my tracker for and June. Towards the end of the month then I will put in my memories and as the month gets closer I'll put in my monthly goals and tasks into this white space. So that is a look at how you can use a Moxie Life kit to fill out your monthly planner if you're using the Amplify Academic Planner. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me and I hope you'll also join me back for my next video. Thanks guys, see you next time.